All right, y'all, this is the um, instructions for how to start your cereal box. Um, this is one of the assignments that I'm really excited about and I love doing each year. You may have seen them um, last semester hanging in the windows. They always turn out really well, um, and I like to do this project. They turn out awesome. Um, it's really going to push us. It's going to require us to use basically everything we've learned up to this point in this semester, um, and really focusing on um, good design, thinking about where we place things, how we place things, what colors, what images, what text, right? And really thinking about what design works best, right? Now, um, you're going to be given a, a, a packet, and this is a planning packet, all right? This is intentional. Um, the intentionality is because, you know, when we start off and we make a project without planning, Right, sometimes it turns out well, but something of this magnitude, it really needs to have um, all the planning in place in order to succeed. Right, I've seen them without the packets and with the packets, and they turn out way, way better and way better planned with the packets. So um, I'm going to go through a quick little PowerPoint with you all. Um, you can always access this if you want to check it out again for any terms that you may need to find. Um, and I will talk about this. All right, so your job, you're going to be creating 100% um, original cereal box. Now, this means that you cannot do Mega Cheerios or Fruit Loop Supremes or anything like that. It needs to be 100% original, right? You need to have your um, target audience be kids, right? If you think about the people who are walking around um, into the cereal aisle, um, most of the time they are geared towards young children. If you have younger siblings, brothers, whatever, sisters, um, this is normally who they're at. All right. Um, we're going to be using a color palette. Um, and I'll talk more about this later images and text that should all go together into a complete package. All right. So meaning they all fit, they all feel like they were made by some corporation that is trying to make a cereal brand. Okay. You're going to need to have all the requirements. Um, and all the requirements are listed on that packet that you will be given um, by the sub. So just make sure that you're meeting all of those. Okay, you're going to need to stick to a color scheme. I say four minimum. Should have this on here. Um, four minimum. I wouldn't go anywhere past like seven. So like max colors. I mean, I think you're looking around four to seven. That's where you want to be at. That looks really weird. I apologize. All right. So here's some examples um, in terms of what are we talking about with cereal boxes. All right. First and foremost, we always know that we have um, the brand, right? So in this case, Lucky Charms, right? We always have some sort of mascot. In this case, um, on this box, right, it is the leprechaun. We always have an image of the cereal because you want to know exactly what you're trying to eat and what you want to have. We have a creator, so whoever makes this, this is the producer. Um, you'll find that that is something that is produced on, um, that is on your packet. And most of the time there is some sort of surprise or prize or something like that, right? Um, there's always some reference to flavor. Okay, so in this case, toasted oat cereal with marshmallows. And in our case, we're going to re be referring to these marshmallows as specialty pieces. Okay, so you'll see some examples later on here, what that means and what it means in terms of um, our project. The last thing is a claim. Okay, a claim, all that means is like, what is great about this cereal? In this case, I can see that it has a bunch of essential vitamins, which is great, right? So um, moving on, here's some other more modern ones. You'll notice, again, this is a good example of um, the brand, the um, spokesperson or mascot. They have a little bit of a, um, a catchphrase. You're going to need one of that as well. They have something that is inside of the bag or inside of the box. And they have an example of their cereal. Notice this words and these texts, right, 
are a lot more interesting than this one, right? So keep that in mind. We're going to want to find really exciting and vibrant text. Okay, here's some other ones. Um, you'll notice too on your packet, there's something called a banner. So the banner can be something like this. The banner can be a shape like this. So you're going to need to include some of those type of things. And I'll show you this more in a bit. On the back side, because you're responsible for not only the side, the front, the other side, and the back, the one that we're going to talk about right now is on the back. Most of the time when you look at a cereal box, what's on the back? Games, activities, things like that. Okay. On one side of the box, there is always nutrition facts. Okay. So nutrition facts are basically what's in that cereal. Okay. And um, there's also... Um, something else that relates to the cereal, all right? So in this case, it's a recipe. It can be more games. It can be a scavenger hunt. It can be a, um, a bunch of different things. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to need to have these requirements on your box somewhere. So you're going to be planning this today using that, um, using your packet. You need to have a catchphrase or slogan. It's a short, striking, memorable phrase. Um, it's a motto, something that is associated with um, a political party. In this case, um, it doesn't really pertain to um, cereal, but what it does pertain to is like it's a catchy thing that gets stuck in your head. Um, one of them, they're magically delicious, or Nike, just do it, or McDonald's, I'm loving it, right? Those are all examples. Okay, a claim is something that makes your cereal better than something else. Organic, gluten-free, extra sugar, sugar-free. It can be super sugar. It can be it gives you wings. It can be it gives you, um, I don't know, super strength or you can fly. You can go crazy on this. They don't actually have to be like real actual claims. They can be far-fetched and way out there. Here's some other examples of good um, cereal box designs that have that cohesive, meaning they all match from front back to side it feels like a complete package so another one peasant puffs alpha bear bites i really like this front um, i think the use of the shape here is really nice and i think the um the kind of slogan that they have here alpha bites that's a very clever way of doing it crunchy eggs um this isn't exactly a great example of what we're going to be doing. Um, I think this is a little too simple. Okay. Not the Crunchy Eggs brand, but I think overall this design is a little too simple. But I do like the little rabbit. Bacon and eggs. Again, this is a little too simple, but I do think that this is a um, pretty funny cover. Um, and this would be an example down here of a specialty item, right? So these are marshmallows that look like eggs and they look like um, bacon. I really love this one. I think it's so unique. Um, I think it's really well done. Here's some from the past. Snappos, taste the snap. Okay, cinnamon and vanilla. We have our specialty um, cereal pieces, right? Little Snapchat people, Not people. Panda puffs. I love these ones. Marshmallows, okay. Heavy base, great taste, part of a remixed breakfast. Abominable snowmen, I like these little frozen um, mountain climbers, right? So these can be really funny um, if you'd like. Brain Brand, um, this right here would be an example of a banner, something that goes all the way across the image would be a banner. Gritos, they can be pop culture inspired. Ghostly trios, hauntingly good. Here's one that I made a few years ago, zombie flakes. Now, these are some things to point out. This is a banner. This is my character or mascot. These are my specialty pieces, arms, legs, hands. Okay, And now notice, this is a really... Um, multi-layered piece right so if i look here i have in the background i have this gradient and the next thing up would be the banner then the bear 
then this hand, then the bowl, then this, then the hand. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this would be seven. Different layers of things stacked on top of each other. Okay, so layers make the thing really turn out well. Okay, on the back here, I have um, a couple other things. I have my game number one. That's a terrible color to use on here. And I have a game number two. I have a continuation in terms of style from the front to the back, right? I have hands over here as well. That kind of matches um, and makes it seem like it is an, is an extension from front to back. And I have my prize down here. You also see there is a barcode, my nutrition facts, a net weight, this is how much stuff is actually in there, a claim, and um, something on the edge that relates to the general idea. Okay. All right, so on the front side of your sheet, <clears throat> which are up on my desk, you're going to see that it has the requirements for the front, for the sides, and let me scroll around here, the back of the box. Okay, these are all kind of like a checklist. So as we progress um, with this assignment, you're going to want to kind of keep track, make sure that you have all these things represented. When I grade this, I'm literally going through and making sure that you have all these things. Okay. Um, so this is a good thing to always keep track of. Do not lose this sheet. All right. On the back side, <clears throat> you have a color scheme choice. This is the one that I was talking about. There are four different um, places here for color schemes. Again, I said that you could have anywhere between four and seven. This is just the minimum. So if you do want to write some more things down here, this is where you'd put it. So we put your numbers. That's not even a number, but okay. Now what this is is a way that we can oh, is a way that you can pick colors. Now I have a link on here for you. This is a color scheme picker. Um, it's kind of actually a a fun activity, I think. Um, what you do is you click the space bar, space, and what happens when you click the space bar is it changes the colors. Okay, so this is probably something that you're going to want to do after you think about what your um, brand is going to be. I mean, you can start with this if you wanted. Um, I would maybe start with thinking about what I want to call it. But when you do find a color that you like, you're going to click this lock icon. The next time I hit space, that one stays. When I find one that I like, click again, lock it, so on and so forth. Okay, you can go in here if you'd like and do some modifications. Um, so those are all options. Um, you can also go up to... They have a bunch of already pre-made palettes. So if you'd like to use those, you can as well, All right? But going back here, what you need to write down is this number, okay? This is called a hexadecimal code. Okay, it'll be on your sheet. It'll look like a hashtag and then the letters and number. What this is is on Photoshop, whoops. I have something up here on Photoshop that I can show you. On Photoshop, I can write down the number, copy, and I can paste it in, and it's going to give me that exact color that I need. All right? So that exact color that I can use, right? So that's the same color there as it is on Photoshop. So you're going to need to write those things down in your hex codes, okay? I would also recommend writing down what kind of color it is. You're also then gonna have all this kind of brainstorming session, 
right? What you need um, in terms of your name, your flavor, your producer, um, mascot, claim, catchphrase, type of game one, type of game two, prize and cereal. And then these are where you're going to draw out your specialty pieces, okay? So depending on what you want your specialty piece to be, I think in my example, I had like an eyeball okay, and a hand. I know y'all are really impressed with my drawing skills on a computer. So those would be my specialty pieces in my zombie thing, right? Whatever that ends up being, you're going to draw that out there. Now, I do not expect this to be the world's best drawing, uh, but I do expect you to try your best, right? Um, let's see here this oops i messed all that up um i can't do this on the side but this is then where you're going to draw out what you have right so you're going to include things like your banner you're going to draw out where you're going to put your bowl with your pieces you're going to draw like what your character is that is supporting this one you're going to have some sort of a design in that background Okay. claims perhaps your net uh, net weight well, I don't know maybe there's a spoon with some milk this is really weird drawing at the side on the other side you're gonna have your nutrition label and you can just do it like so and then on the back you're gonna have that continuation of a banner and your games, whether that's a word search, whether that's tic-tac-toe, whether that's a match, the whatever. These are all things that you're going to find. Okay, And all the other requirements that you need. Right On the other side, all you need to do is have something that contributes or relates to the side. I don't know. There's a hand. Right? Again, all these requirements are up on this front one. So just make sure that you're matching these, okay? Don't like say, oh, I'm done. But then you realize that you have a bunch of these things missing. This is really important, okay? Now, once you're done drawing this with pencil, then you're gonna go over and get colored pencils. Okay, they're over on my counter. This does not need to be the world's best coloring, but it does need to be completed, right? It needs to be colored. I'm grading you on this packet, right? Um, this is all you're going to be working on today. If you do finish this up, great. Um, when you're done, then um, hold on to it until I return, and then I'm going to talk about the next steps. We're not going to be making your designs today. Um, I'd rather be there when we're working on Photoshop, so in case you run into any hiccups, okay? But if you're bored and you want something to do, I do have the video on here that you can look at. Just click on here. And I talk about the whole process. So if you want to get an idea of what we're going to be doing, this is the process. Okay? Good luck. Um, Y'all are going to do great. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.